began to cry out within themselves, why are we following a man who's multiplying our workload? Pastor, I'm sure there's been times when you've got a vision and it's called for more work. And all of a sudden, people are like, well, why are we doing all of this when we need to put our attention over here? But the Bible tells us that wisdom is justified by her children. And tonight as we look out and we see spiritual sons and daughters that have been risen up, we see where the wisdom has come in. And fulfilling and following the vision that God has given us, we recognize why we did what we did when we did it. Because you never know what's going to happen just down the road. That's why you need a prophetic voice. You need a prophetic vision that declares the word of the Lord. And I cannot help but honor a house. I cannot help but honor a pastor that has a hunger embedded inside of them to hear from God. Far too many of us in the church today are trying to play to the crowd and leaving the people alone. And I'm thankful for a church that has risen up and said, I'm worried about not only the crowd, but I'm worried about the people. I have a heart not only for the crowd but I've got a heart for the people I'm not only concerned about what the crowd thinks about my message but when I heard my sister stand up and tell about the pastor was there first, understand this, that's the gift that is married to the church, we are given the gift of the prophet, we are given the gift of the apostle, the teacher and the evangelist, but if you take the hand of God and you have the pastor, the teacher, the prophet, the apostle and the evangelist the pastor is the ring finger because the pastor is married to the church. There's a commitment there. There is not a one night stand right here. There's a commitment right here that says, no matter what, I'm going to hold on. You see, right now in Waterloo, we are in the middle of a 10 year cycle. I just, we are right now. I came here 11 years ago, and when I got here, there were pastors leaving churches and pastors coming into churches. And I had to decide, you know what, baby, I'm here because I'm married to this church. I'm not just married to the church, I'm married to the city. This pastor believes in this city. Not a perfect city. We might look at another city and declare, well, there's other more desirable places to be. But I'm going to tell you what, when you're married to something, you make a decision when the honeymoon's over, I'm still standing here. After the heartache is over, I'm still standing here. and everything that there was into existence in the very beginning. In the beginning of the word, God stepped forward and he said, let there be light and there was light. God stepped forward and said, let there be a firmament between the water and it shall divide water from water. See, that's why we got so many moves of God. There's water dividing water. But I declare God's about to break forth the dams and God's going to release an abundance and overflow of bloody evil.
seafaring planet on the surface of this earth. God has given you total dominion. Not partial dominion, but total dominion. Not just in this season, but for eternity. Come on. Listen to this. And the night thing was, and we shall make man in our image of our likeness. Pastor, Pastora, when we look at you, we're gonna, you're going to be like Moses. And when he came down off of the mountain, his face shone with the glory of Almighty God. When people see you and they hear the testimony of what you have done, they'll not see you, but they'll see God. As a people marked for mercy, as a people marked for destiny, and people could look at us and not see us. I could see God. I look at a beautiful couple. You're a beautiful first lady. You are a beautiful pastor. And you are people of integrity and excellence. And God has marked you for great things. And prosperity is going to fall from you and through you and to you. And though you have had a good season, you had a hard start to a good season. But I declare to you, your best is yet to come. And when people see you, they'll not see you. But they'll see the love. I can hear you crying out. Let them see the love of the Lord. Heaven is releasing 